Hey dudes, this is a tutorial on how to create a short song on the Pocket Operator KO33. Right, so if you're not familiar with the, this little beast, what you do is it's a sampler. So there's a tiny microphone and you can select any of these slots to record a sample into live. And also in these slots are some drum kits built in. But what's also a possibility is that you can record anything and it will slice it into 16 drum slots. So you could do like a beatbox like doo -doo 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 -doo, and it will put them into it. Or you could record uh, a small drum break uh, from a sample off YouTube, anything like that. So it comes with some built in sounds but I've changed them for my own sounds so I'll just demonstrate. <laughs> And, uh, it's actually in a locked scale uh, but it's a pretty cool one so I would suggest just trying to work with that instead of thinking oh well I need to pitch all these differently and stuff which is a possibility but it's a bit of a pity so what you do is we've selected sound 2 and we shall select a pattern 1 we'll make sure that's deleted by pressing record and pattern so it said clear so we'll do pattern 2, clear, pattern 3, clear, pattern 4, clear. And now we'll hold pattern and 1, 2, 3, 4, and it said L for link. And so it's linked those four patterns together. And if we press play, it starts running. We'll slow it down a bit. We hold BPM and turn uh, this knob, and it go, it, that'll change your BPM manually. And this is swing. We'll make sure it's not swinging. So there we go, we've got it running along and we can live record a sequencing. So we'll select a drum bank by holding sound and pressing 10. We'll make sure that's on full by turning this volume up. And there's other knob effects pitch on the kit. So what we can do now is just randomly put a beat in. Remember we've got four patterns to go through. And we'll hear it start to loop. There we go. Now we need to put some hi-hats in. can also do then is if we press right it brings up the hi-hats we've put in on the sequencer we can hold them and press BPM and it says tri a trigger and you can hear it's doing the kicks now so it's re-triggering some kicks so that'll make the pattern more interesting it's cycling through the four patterns if we take it out of right and click on hi-hat it'll bring up us hi-hat so we can change those there we go, now it's re-triggering hi-hats. It's going through the sequence, so if we're missing it, it says zero. It's because I accidentally landed on one that doesn't have one in. But there we go, that's got quite interesting now. So we'll go sound two for his bass. Hold him right. We'll randomly put a bass in. it so they're nicely locked in place so now we'll choose another sound this is a bit of a synth hit don't worry about mistakes because it quantizes it and they sometimes end up interesting anyway don't overthink it another sound. This is a music box that I sampled. Now 
Now it can't tick that many channels because obviously it's a 77 pound dollar device. But what it can do is ridiculous if you try and find gaps. So now what we want to do is record a vocal part but as a drum slice and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to stop it so we're not recording ourselves. And we're going to record and slot 9 and I'm going to think of something quickly. It's a pocket that you operate with. Do, 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 do. So now it will slide. It's a pocket. It's a pocket. It's a pocket. It's a pocket that you <laughs> so it's endless fun, hold right. It's a pocket that you are awake. Then a little drum brains. What we can also do with those is go into the sequence and trigger those pieces. So it's gonna mess with my voice. And then on top of that, we've got this effect button that gives us 15 effects and 16 is cancel. So and it tells us in the corner arch. 16 This will do it in 6-8 Total breakbeat and we can record those here I'm gonna jam and shut up It's a pocket that you hold with the Thank you.